Number 1. Rio Mundo Headwaters. The source of this river is a cave halfway up a cliff. One cannot get very close and as last winter was fairly dry in this region, the amount of water coming out of the cliff was not very impressive. That said, the walk through the woods to the base of the cliff and the gentle climb up to the vantage points was delightful and if you are in Rio Par, it is well worth the diversion. Number 2. Hoz del Rio Hucar. First visited this village in 2014 and again with friends on a coach tour in late 2015, what a lovely village for a day visit or overnight stay. There is a very small market, local and cheap. There are many hostels, hotels and band B to stay and lots of restaurants, never been ripped off using the menu del dia. There is an old bullring being rebuilt for historical reasons. Number 3. Pasea de Lodas. Small street with a very nice charm as all white stone buildings are sculpted and present balconies. Stores with choices of traditional knives and little cafes such as Elefante de Jades makes it a very romantic setting for wedding pictures on Saturdays. I was delighted to hear and see the flashes of photographs on newlywed couple. These lights made it really special. Number 4. Museo Municipal de L.A. Cuchilleria. Nice venue located near the Plaza Mayor. Pocket knives and scissors are the main characters of this museum, some of them really interesting. Don't miss it if you're in Albacete I was delighted to hear and see the flashes of photographs on newly wed couple. These lights made it really special. The Happy Sharing Company. Number 5. Castillo de Almansa. Climbing the Moorish Castillo these days is beyond me, but I have done it numerous times in the past and it is a rich rewarding experience, unless you have to do it after a serious thunderstorm. Even if you do not climb it, you can see it from everywhere in the entire large valley of the Battle of Almansa. Number 6. Catedral de San Juan Bautista. The inside if the cathedral is decorated with frescoes on the walls and ceiling, very calming and spiritual. The front facade has intricate stonework and arches, with the rest of the exterior of the building quite plain. Returned in the evening for tapas and a drink at King's Bar in front of the cathedral and saw many people leaving the cathedral after mass and stopping for tapas and drinks. Number 7. Castillo de Chinchilla. Like some other castles in small towns, I have no idea if, or when, this castle is open. The town is small, so it isnt difficult to wind your way up the hill to the castle. Although it was open, it was worth a 20-minute stop just to walk around the outside. Number 8. Plaza Mayor. This is a really interesting, off-the-beaten-track destination. We happened to arrive during a medieval fiesta, set in the medieval plaza, really good. Worth visiting the Holy Trinity Church and the Town Hall. Number 9. Museo de Albacete. Walk to THR Museum, located on the south side of Parque Urbano Abrilado Sanchez, free entry on Thursdays. The museum has over 50% of its space dedicated to archaeological exhibits, with a huge collection of ceramics. There are items from the Paleolithic period, through Neolithic and then Ancient Roman. Also an interesting display of antique measuring instruments. Number 10. Castillo de Yest. We visited early evening, it was quiet and cool. Well worth a visit, we sat through the Spanish language video presentation and got the gist of the place. The models were very good too, but would have helped if there were explanations as to their purpose. All signage is in Spanish so a real disadvantage for non-Spanish speakers. Also an art collection. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.